Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. This is our third week of the recovery program. I feel much better. And remember that these routines is for you to practice every day, if you can, for at least two or three times a week. So then you will recover your mobility and your flexibility and strength quickly. And it's the same with the other routines. Try to practice them twice a week. So then you will have that feeling of continuity and you will see the results become faster. Okay, so we're going to start this time. We're going to start stand up. So we're going to keep our arms to the side. We're going to inhale, arms up, palms facing up. And exhale, palms facing down. And we just drop. And again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. And again, inhale and exhale. Just one more. Inhale, arms up and exhale down. Move your hands back into prayer position. Gently push your hands each other. Now we're going to turn to the right and left, but just make sure that your hips or your knees don't swing with your torso. So from here, we're going to inhale, exhale. We turn toes to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale towards the left and back to center. And again, towards the right and come back towards your left and come back. Again, right and back just to warm up your torso. Left and back. Just one more. Right, come back, left. And come back. Drop your arms. Roll your shoulders backwards. We hold for four to open your chest. Three. And two. And just one more. We move our hands at the back. Interlace your fingers. Extend your arms. Open your chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now release your hands. Inhale. Exhale, spine roll. We bend the knees. Remember, we want to go the full fall forward, but without forcing our legs. Inhale at the end. And exhale, we roll up the spine. We move our arms to the back. Again, we extend our chest. Open our chest. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. We release. Inhale. And exhale. Forward bend again. This time we're going to move our hands to the front and we're going to step backwards with the right foot, okay? Now you move your knee, your knee as much as you can backwards, so then you will have enough room to move your hands down. Here we're going to lift the chest as much as we can, straight our back, keep the knee above your ankle on the front knee. We're going to hold four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Well done. Let's go for the three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for the two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Fantastic. Now we're going to return this leg to the front because always this pass forward and backward with the leg is hard for us in yoga. So we're going to lift the bum as higher as we can. We extend a little bit the front leg and we swing. We kind of give us a little impulse, bending the back knee, and then push forward, and we move the leg at the front. We're going to inhale here, exhale, roll up the spine. Well done, everybody. Now move your hands behind your head, open your elbows, and here we lift our chest, arching our back a little bit. We take a breath. Inhale, and exhale. Now we release, we drop the arms, inhale. Exhale all the way down, and this time we're going to step backwards with the other leg, of course. You can move this leg more forward if you can. The one at the back, just like at the maximum, so you have room enough to move your hips low so you can reach the ground with your hands. Lift the chest, straight your back, we hold four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale, and only one more, and exhale. The same, we lift the back knee, we extend a little bit the front one, 
bend the back knee to swing and move the leg forward again. Inhale here, exhale, roll up the spine. All the way up, shoulders move backwards. Keeping our hips facing forward, step backwards with the left foot. We bend the right knee, we keep our pelvis facing forward. Move our arms at the back, interlace your fingers, front knee bent, and the back leg straight, and the heel at the back on the ground. We're going to lean forward as far as good for you. Keep pressing with your big toes for balance and stability. We hold four breath. Inhale. And exhale, let the head drop. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Move your hands on your hips, straight your back, breathe in. Breathe out, push the ground, raise your torso, move your legs together. Let's go other side. So step backwards, right foot, warrior one. Bend the front knee, arms move at the back. Open your chest, breathe in and breathe out. We lean forward. Keep the stability of your body by pressing your big toes on the ground. You can drop your head. We hold for four. Front knee bend. Three more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Move your hands on your hips, straight your back, breathe in, push the ground to raise your torso. Fantastic. Move your legs together. We're going to go again, spine roll. So we go inhale, exhale, spine roll all the way down. We're going to drop our hands. We're going to step backwards with the left foot as back as you can. Knee above your ankle on the front knee. Here we're going to place our fist, we're going to lift the back knee. We're going to hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. We're going to do the same to return the leg. So we're going to develop the mobility of the leg moving backward and forward. So shift the weight backwards, bend the back knee, shift and impulse yourself to the front. Inhale and exhale. Roll up the spine. No pain in those forward bend. Roll your shoulders backwards. Let's go all the way again. Inhale, exhale, forward bend. Now we're going to step backwards with the right foot. We keep the left knee above your ankle as far as you can go with that back leg. We're going to place our fist on the ground. We're going to lift the back knee. Keep the front knee above your ankle. Let's call for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one more. Now we're going to shift the weight backwards, bend the back knee, impulse, lift the hips to move the leg forward. Inhale at the end, exhale, roll up the spine. And we just roll our shoulders back, open our chest. Let's go one more time. Inhale, exhale, spine roll all the way down. This time we're going to move our hands a little bit forward, let the head drop. We're going to slide the back foot, bend the back leg, and we're going to pulse up. We go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We shift the leg. Now, here is super important that at the beginning we are um, developing mobility. So it's okay bending our base leg. Don't worry about that. Give it time to your body. So let's pulse up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your foot beside the other one. Inhale and exhale. Roll up. Roll your shoulders backwards. How you feel? It's good, no? So we start to mobilize more and more and more our legs. Let's go all the way again. Inhale, exhale, spine roll. 
Now we're gonna place our palms on the floor. We're gonna step back, we're right and left. Let's go cat and cow. Inhale, cat stretch. Exhale, cow stretch. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go for two. And out. And just one more inhale. And exhale. Back onto neutral. We're going to curl the toes under. A high plank. We shift the weight backwards. Let's go down dog. We can bend the knees if we feel too much tension. Extend your back by pressing your hands on the ground and pushing your tailbone upwards. Let's hold for a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Drop your knees one more time onto the ground. We step forward, right foot. Mm -hmm. Now this time your fingertips gonna be beside your foot. Slide the left knee as much as you can. Here we're gonna inhale, exhale. We're rocking backwards. We're gonna extend the front leg as far as we don't feel pain. And we bend the front foot. We flex the foot. And we just go forward. And backwards. Let's go for nine. And backwards. Let's go for seven. And backwards. Let's go six. And back. Let's go five. And back. Let's go four. And back. Let's go three. And back. Let's go two. And back. Only one. And back. Bend the front knee. Slide that foot backwards. Good, everybody. Curl the toes under. Let's go to the camel. Gentle camel just to help us to stretch our tummy. So we push our pelvis forward, elbows in without forcing. If you can reach your heels, fantastic. If not, we keep just the hands behind your hips. Elbows in. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale, let's go two, and just one more. Gently, we move to the front. We go all the way, child pose, and we let the head drop here. Again, the important is that we push our bum down to our toes to the heel as far as we can without forcing the knees. Let's hold here for three more breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for two, and exhale. Let's go one more, and exhale. Back on to all fours. We're going to this time step forward with the left foot, so the other leg to do the rocking. Now fingertips here, we go inhale, exhale, we tilt backward, we uh, rock backwards and forward. Now here we flex our foot. We extend the leg as far as we don't feel pain. If we feel pain, we are just forcing our muscles and it's not going to work because our body is going to tense more. So we need to go as far as it feels good so we can relax our muscles. Let's keep going for seven and back. Let's go for six and back. Let's go for five, and back. Let's go for four, and back. Let's go for three, and back. Let's go for two, and back. Only one more, and back. Great, everybody. Now we're going to step backwards this leg. We're going to sit back if it's possible and we put, the pl uh, we put the hands on the floor or your feet. Remember the kneeling bridge, fantastic to stretch our thighs. In case you cannot go all the way down with your bum, you just keep your hands at the front and try to push gently backwards until eventually we land completely the thighs and we can go into this position. Ready everybody, squeeze your inner thigh and we lift the pelvis, we open our chest, we hold here for four and three, 
and two, and just one more, and we release. Let's back again on two all fours. Index fingers pointing forward, spread your fingers, sensation of gripping the ground so you don't let the weight collapse on your wrist. Straight the right leg, then left, push your body up, and we go, inhale, lift your heels, exhale, heels go down without forcing. Let's go for three, and down. Let's go two, and down, just one more, and down, drop gently your knees, a step forward, right foot again. If we cannot go in one go, we help us with our hand. Slide the back knee. You can keep your palm flat on the ground or your fist. Move your arm a little bit closer. Move your right arm behind your back. Lift the chest, straight your back, and we turn completely towards to the side. Oh, it feels really good. You can lift the back knee if you want. But at the moment, we are just trying to release our body gently more if you are recovering from a surgery or you have arthritis or chronic pain. So keep the knee on the ground. Let's hold here two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Release everybody. We step backwards. We're going to change. Other leg come up. Slide the back knee, straight your back, move your arm closer, left arm move behind, we turn toes to the left, reaching with the fingers toes to the right waist as much as we can go. Be careful in the front knee, it doesn't push sideways, so press with your big toe. Three more breaths here, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for two, and exhale, and just one more. And release everybody. Well done. Step backwards and we're going to repeat our camel. Again, you can keep your toes curled under or your toes pointing. Whatever you feel more comfortable. For me at the moment, I feel more, more um, comfortable with the toes curl under. I feel more support. Elbows in, hands behind your hips, push your pelvis forward as far as you can. We stretch our tummy. We hold for four. And three, you can drop your hands if you feel comfy. No pain in your lower back. Just one more. Inhale and exhale. Gently, we're going to go all the way onto child pose. We sit back as much as possible for us. We're going to move the palms together, bend your elbows, and move your hands behind your head. We hold for four. And three. Two, and just one more, and release, high feels good, we're going to uh, end standing, okay, so back again, all fours, index fingers pointing forward, press your fingertips, extend right leg, left leg, push your body back onto down dog, Inhale, lift your heels by curling your toes under. Exhale, heels go down without forcing. Let's go for three. And down. Let's go two. Down. Only one. Down. We look to the front. We walk with our legs forward. We can bend the knees. Remember this, hands beside your feet. Let the tummy touch your thighs. We can bend the knees. Just going to hold here for breath to feel nice and stretch in our back, in our glutes, in our legs. Let's hold for four. And three. Two. And just one more. Inhale, everybody. Exhale, roll up the spine. And we roll our shoulders backwards. Great, everybody. We hold our elbows, right arm on the front. Move your arms backwards. We stretch towards to the right side. And back. Other side, gently without pain. And back. We change the arms. And we go towards to the left. And back. Towards to the right. Great. Drop your arms. Roll your shoulders backwards. Take a deep breath, arms up, exhale, arms down, 
One more. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you like the videos. Please to help us to grow. If you can like the video, leave us a comment or just an emoji and share with your friends. It will be fantastic. And just to let you know, we have now the super chat so you can support us if you would like. Thank you so much. And we we'll see you in the next video. Bye.